up in the whole world. I get to write songs that the whole world gets to hear. I have a Grammy nomination, a Gold Globe nomination, and if you combine all of my hits, I have sold over 50 million singles. Now, hold on a minute. Now, I'm not saying that to brag, even though I'm obviously bragging. I am telling you that to let you know that as a queer person, as a femme person, my dream came true too. Now, with, with my road a lot longer and a lot harder because I'm queer, yes, but it happened. Now, you can't acknowledge your success unless you acknowledge your privilege. I have a lot of privilege. I am white. That made my life a lot easier, right? I, even though I identify as a gender non-conforming queer person, I know that I am perceived as just a white cis gay dude. And I know that that perception is, that, is the top of the food chain in our community, right? That's the top of the food chain. And then my biggest privilege is my family. I was born into a family that not only accepted my queerness and my femininity, they celebrated that shit every day. So. When I was bullied at school, bullied beyond belief, I knew those kids were idiots because I was safe at home. When the bullying got so bad and became physical, I knew that my parents, they would go and find me a safer school, and they did. And that's the greatest privilege I had, which was safety. Safety should not be a privilege. Safety should be a requirement for every fucking human being on the planet. Should be able to bring their first love home.